guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode two of season three of Bleach, The Thousand Year Blood War. BTW, I am sorry about the fucked up coffee for this and blue lock that I had to release last week. Shit has been going down. I think mainly due to the fact that I had my phone plugged in on my computer with everything else and it just fucked it up and I'm like, oh, great. So it should be better because of what I'm doing now and such. But this is one of the two episodes for this season I am dreading, especially from what I saw, um, I, I think between last night and early this morning. And I was like, oh shit, I know, I, you know, as a manga reader, I know where the fuck we're going and I'm not fucking ready for it. I never have been and I never will be even after we get past it. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to watch this. Go. No, 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 because it's going to be sad. Oh, I'm not ready. God damn, wait. Oh. Better hurry. I kind of forgot he was wearing that goddamn. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Oh, you think so, huh?
Of course. Stop him. Not the hot springs, fuck. God damn. Oh, honey. <laughs> Remember, he sees all, so...
God, that looks so disgusting. <laughs> And that's to kill him.
Let me check. Is she home? No, not yet. Actually, I don't know why I looked out there. Right, Renji, but Well, he has like chosen one in a way. Sorry, Dad. He did. Yes, he was sword.
I'm not ready for this! Oh god, like <laughs> I just remember myself crying at this part because I was like, oh shit. Oh my god. And then just seeing it animated. And you just you feel so bad for Ichigo in that moment because it's like, you know, you could tell he didn't mean to do it, but of course, like his Quincy get it, but it's still fucked up. Because the power that Young Witch has over all the Quincy's, it's, just, it's so fucking fucked up. I love it and I hate it at the same fucking time. It's so crazy. You just secretly wish that anyone, anyone of them behind him, Orihime, Yonawichi, Chad, I don't remember what to say his name, any one of them could have stopped him, but obviously no. No, we can't do that. We have to stick to the plot. Stick to the plot so you know what's happening next. Like, obviously, as a manga reader, you know. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about it. It's up tell me. They're, they're going to show it. Oh, no, they're not. Nope, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never fucking mind. No, and it is worse because they had him like show, like okay, they had him speak two times. In this episode, they showed him two times, plus the opening. So, you already know. And the fact that the Soul King is dead, you know. You fucking know what the fuck is about to happen next. All I'm gonna say is this. Like, if you, in any anime in general where it is an arc where your char your favorite characters die, oh <laughs> yeah, all I'm gonna say is, all I'm gonna say is just, you know, Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. <laughs> because when Unohana died, aka the first Kenpachi, when she died, oh, it would be only because of him, because of the fact that he needed his own bato and such. I get it. I'm so hurt by that. Even when I read it the first time, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? But I get it. And I was like, when I, at the time when I read it the first time years ago, and I was like, if we ever get a little, okay, no, uh, sliver of hope, anything, is she here? No. Um, if this ever gets animated, 
I don't know what I'm gonna fucking do. And when it, when I saw it, I didn't know what I was gonna fucking do. I still didn't know, even till today. So when we get to that, cause it is coming, I don't know what I'm gonna fucking do. Emotional wreck, yes. But no, this is a, a, a very interesting and fast episode. I mean, from what I remember manga-wise, I don't remember the this fight between Ichigo and um, Yanwich being like, it, it felt short to me. I think when I read it, but I love the fact that they extended it, and that's why I'm secretly hoping when we get to their final, final fight, um, especially when it, you know, <laughs> adds certain people, because we can't talk about that just yet. Um, I do hope and pray that Kubo was like, he puts in his time and his work and be like, I need this. This is the things that he wanted that he could not put in the manga is where he's going to definitely put it in this. It's very much how, like, um, Tetsuya Nomura puts with, like, the, you know, the new thing of, like, Versus 13 into Kingdom Hearts enough. And I, I love the shit out of that. And that's what Kubo is doing in his own way. He's, you know, continuing things that he, like I said, um, really wanted to put, but he didn't have a chance to put. So he's like, fuck it, I'm just putting it all in here. Like, cause y'all need to know stuff. And I need to tell you this before this show is over. But Damn good episode, damn good choreographing, cinematography, amazingly beautiful as always. Cannot wait for it this weekend, even though I'm, I'm going to cry like a baby after, before, during, whatever. But other than that, guys, that is my action view <laughs> review to episode two of season three of Bleach, A Thousand Year Blood War. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys on Saturday for episode three. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!